I want you to imagine being on an airplane, ready to travel anywhere. And just before you take off, the pilot comes on over the loudspeaker and says the following words. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to flight 3353. I am your pilot. I have no idea where we're going, but trust me, I'll get you there. Fasten your seatbelts. Chances are you'd be trying to get off that airplane immediately, and I don't blame you. I'm Dr. Derek Noble, and welcome to Lead Through Communication. This is a video series where I partner with you. I become your coach, and I help you to become a better leader by also becoming a better communicator because leadership and communication go hand in hand. On today's episode, we're talking about communicating your team's direction. Communicating your team's direction. I want you to think back to that example I gave you about the pilot. You are probably not going to have any confidence in that pilot's ability because that pilot is not clear about where they're trying to take you. We expect our pilots to know not only where we're going, but to know how to get us there. And if the pilot is not clear, the people are going to panic. As the leader of your organization, or as the leader of your department, a leader within your organization, I want you to think of yourself as the pilot. If you don't have a clear idea of where you're trying to take this organization, if you don't have a clear idea of where this organization is headed, the people that you lead are going to be confused and they're most likely going to be in a state of panic. You've got to make sure that you are very clear about where you're trying to take them because you are the leader. And that leads us to our very first point. The very first point of this video is this. Everything rises and falls with leadership. Hey, it may not be fair, but it is absolutely true. When a team is underperforming, you look to the leader. Those of you who are sports fans, you know the answer to this question. What typically happens when you have a team that has had a losing season or has had a string of losing seasons? The first move that the front office usually makes is they fire the coach. <laughs> now that may not be fair, but I need you to understand it is absolutely true. When a team underperforms, you look to the leadership. Chances are there's something that has gone wrong with leadership. So everything rises and falls with leadership. If the team lacks direction, whose fault is it? It may not be fair and you may not like it, but the truth is if the team is lacking direction, it's probably because the leader lacks direction and is very unclear about where they're trying to go. Well, that's the first point I want to make. The second point I want to make is this. There are some questions that you need to ask if you're going to be an effective leader and take your people in the direction they're going to go. And all of these questions start with you. These are not questions that you need to ask of your people. These are questions you need to ask of yourself. So the first question is this. First question, second point. Point number two, question number one. Here's the first question you need to ask yourself. What is my purpose as a leader? As the leader of this organization, as the leader of this department, what is my purpose? In other words, what do I do? I want you to imagine that you are talking to someone who knows absolutely nothing about your industry, knows absolutely nothing about the service you provide, or knows absolutely nothing about the product you provide. I want you to imagine that you're talking to somebody who has never heard of you, never heard of your organization, never heard of your product, and I want you to describe for them in one simple sentence what it is that you do. In fact, that's your homework assignment. I want you to describe in one simple sentence for somebody who does not know you and does not know anything about your industry, describe for them in one simple sentence what you do. What are you trying to accomplish? I've done this with businesses all around the globe and you would be surprised how many business leaders cannot describe what it is they're supposed to do. Folks, if you don't know what you're doing and you can't clearly articulate what it is you're doing and where you're trying to take this organization, chances are you're fuzzy in your leadership. And if your leadership is fuzzy, guess what's happening to the people who are following you? If you don't have a clear idea of what you do and where you're going, your people are even more confused.
So the first question you need to ask yourself and be able to answer is, what am I accomplishing as the leader of this organization? What do I do? And how can I explain that in one simple sentence to people who have no clue about what I do? If you can explain it that way, then you're pretty clear about it. The third point I want to make is the second question I want to ask you. Third point, second question. Here's the second question. What is the purpose of this department that I'm leading? What is the purpose of this department? Let's say uh, as the leader, you are the director of human resources. The first question you need to ask is, what do I do as human resource director? And then the second question you need to ask is, what does the human resources department do? In other words, what do I do as director that helps human resources do what it does? If you cannot both articulate what you do as human resource director and what the human resource department seeks to accomplish, you're fuzzy in your leadership. And if your leadership is fuzzy, the people are going to be confused. Do you have an answer to that question already? If not, that's your homework assignment. What do I do that helps my department do what it does? F final point, final question is this. What is the purpose of this organization as a whole? What is the overall purpose of this organization? What's the overall purpose of this company? Let's say you work for XYZ company and within XYZ company, you are the director of human resources. So you now see the three levels of questions you need to ask and answer. What do I do as human resources director that helps the human resource department do what it does, that helps XYZ company do what it does? You need to be able to clearly articulate what you do that helps your department do what the organization is supposed to do. Those are the three levels of understanding when it comes to leadership. And if you cannot clearly articulate answers to each of those, you are just like that pilot who gets on the plane and says, I'm taking you somewhere. Don't ask me where it is, but I'm taking you somewhere. As a leader, you've got to be crystal clear. So your homework assignment is this. If you're not clear about those, I want you to do each one of those. Remember, I want a simple sentence and I want you to explain it as if you're explaining it to somebody who knows nothing about your organization. Do not use code words. Do not use jargon. Explain it to somebody who knows absolutely nothing about your organization. This is the best way to make sure that you're clear. The final thing I'll say to you is this. After you answer those questions for yourself, now it becomes your responsibility to make sure that each one of your employees has an answer to the same questions. What does this employee do that helps this department do what XYZ company is supposed to do? But you cannot answer those questions for your people until you first answer those questions for yourself. Get your homework done and I'll see you next time. Remember to like and subscribe uh, to this video and to this series and follow me on social media. I'm all over the place. Dr. Derek Noble. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. Follow me. I'll follow you back. Come back next time as I continue to journey with you and partner with you to help you take your leadership and your communication to the next level of excellence.